Good morning, compadres. Hope you guys are all doing great. Had yourself a wonderful weekend full of sunshine and temperate weather. I think I did, so there's that. Today I'm gonna to be drinking a uh, Green Mountain coffee. It is their pumpkin spice. Um, and let's give her a sip because pumpkin is the word. This is a good pumpkin spice. When you open the bag, you can smell the uh, pumpkin pie seasonings, which is probably a mixture of nutmeg and cinnamon and other things that you think of when you think of pumpkins. Uh, and it really just kind of has a nice little sizzle to the tongue if you're into that kind of stuff. If not, so be it. I would say for a pumpkin spice coffee, this is a good choice. Hopping right into today's subject and lecture. We're going to be talking about running A to Z. So there's a lot of people out there that love to run. They love the freedom of the open road, wind in their hair, the uh, cool breeze whipping against their legs. Um, I don't really know any other reasons why you would want to run, but there's that. So there's a couple of things you need to understand when running. There's a whole process to it. Running is what we call very linear, so it's very uh, forward and back in a straight line. So as you're, as you're training for running, becoming a better runner, of course, you want to put mileage, is, mileage on. But if you haven't seen my video of the evolution of running, there's a bunch of different phases you should master before you're actually running. Um, so that goes all the way from, a lot of it comes down to core control and then hip and knee stability and foot stability with contacting on the floor. Running is actually a fairly uh, challenging event, which most people don't think of because it's supposed to be something that's natural but a lot of people aren't good at what actually comes natural. So starting from the ground, learning to do reciprocal motion. So even like crawling and bear crawl, controlling the torso while moving opposite arm, opposite leg and being able to stabilize through the foot and knee and then moving that to a lunge pattern. Can I stabilize while lunging or is my foot really wobbling every time uncontrollably? It's okay to have some, but I should have, for the most part have very good control from there. How is, how is my walking? Can I control in what we call the frontal plane? So going side to side. So as I step, can I resist that force? Because if all I do is run, again, it's very straightforward. So I may be able to stabilize forward, but there's a lot of side to side forces I need to account for. And if I can't stabilize more in that frontal plane, when those forces hit, that's going to lead to those IT band issues or those knee problems, or even some of that hip from the legs caving in or, or bowing out or just the not great uh, ground contact um, properly with your foot, so your foot strike, and again, leading to stresses that can lead to your common injuries such as uh, calf strains, um, plantar fasciitis problems, even your hamstring can come now from the calf being overused, and so on up that, what they call a posterior chain or back side of the leg. So being able to master these basic movements before you start full on running is important. And if you're already at the stage of where you're out there running, going back and re-looking at these. So can I jump side to side and maintain? Can I do a lateral lunge? Can I, can I even lunge forward with stability? If not, work on these things, and that's gonna improve your running and make you feel better. So that's kind of A to Z. The other part, of course, if you're deciding to run and run a lot, is just maintenance. So certain things. So we're nowhere to get tight and overused in certain muscles, so again, using the cross balls or tennis balls to kind of roll at the bottom of your fascia or that foot. So taking a ball and rolling the bottom to help uh, turn off over active fascia muscle. Can, uh, rolling your, your gastrox or your calf muscles, so the back of, your, back of your leg. And also what we call the anterior tibialis or um, the, front, the front part of your leg, the muscle there, which helps with the foot uh, being lifted up. So you're constantly lifting that foot up that muscle will become strained, which can also lead to some plantar fascia symptoms. So taking care of that by rolling, massage of course, you're going to see that, taking care of uh, your glutes, properly strengthening the hamstrings, and being able to stabilize. And also the back, a lot of people don't think of the upper body, but where am I rotating from? Am I rotating through the lower back? I don't want that, I want to rotate through the shoulders. So kind of rotating through the mid-back spine, a little bit of the hips, but ideally, I'm pretty solid with my 
with my motion because if I'm torquing too much, that's where you're gonna see people um, get lower back problems from running. And then the last little bit is, of course, posture. So going back to planks and understanding, being able to move with a reciprocal motion, so opposite arm, opposite leg, I wanna be able to control my rib cage. So if I'm standing, I don't wanna be flared. So very, I think a really good posture. I don't necessarily want that. That's gonna cause extension in that low back and then add in that rotation movement. And now you're looking for a really good time for back pain to creep in. Whereas I wanna kinda of close that rib cage down and then kinda of rotate through the shoulders. In that case, it's not gonna be bent, but neutral. And ideally not so much movement. So that'll save your back in the long term. So just to recap real quick, make sure that you're training stability in multiple planes and being able to control um, your body while moving, such as the lunge, bear crawls, and such. And then taking care of the body from a maintenance standpoint. So foam rolling, the crossball, tiger stick, going to go see massages. And then finally, posture. So making sure your posture or you're in good alignment when running. So do, do, do those three things to have a long, happy life of running. That's all I have. If you have any comments, please leave them down below, or you can shoot me a personal email at josh at joshwilliamsfitness.com. And as always, please check out my web, website, give me some love, and share it with your friends at joshwilliamsfitness.com. Have a good day. Bye.